welcome you all at mahindraguru.com today we are going to discuss about missing di as we all know in the sbi one of the favorite topic is di and missing di is one of the topics where the student struggle a lot it is one of the most simple di's but what the problem occurs is when we see a data is missing we just get confused from where to start so today we are going to understand the basic concept how to make approach while solving missing data interpretation let us see a question here the question says marks of five different subject from class 9 to class 12th of rahul is given below now what we, it happens we have four classes data class 9 10 11 10 12 from of five different subjects the subjects are math physics chemistry english computer and what we have given we have given the total of these this is the, the total given here is of ma ma match marks from class 9 to 12 and here the total of the marks of class 9 10 11 10 12th now what happens what approach we should apply to solve it we can solve it the uh, the basic approaches we can do two uh, approaches one we go row wise second is we can go column wise now what we can do here we start with column wise the first uh, we have class 9 in class 9 as we can see we have no data uh, to be solved because the total is missing and three data is missing first we will look where we have one data missing because if we have one data missing we can easily uh, subtract the rest of the total from the total marks and we can easily get that uh, value of that subject so in the second column also in class 10 we have three data four data missing we cannot tell the any data here but in class 11th we see we have only one data missing which is of english marks so the marks of english in class 11th is missing now wh what we can do we can add the rest of the marks and mark, subtract it from 450 the easy approach to add is see here we have 8 if we add this 8 to 72 it becomes 80 so we have 380 s 8 into 3 is 24 and a 0 250 so the sum of these three marks is 240 and add 90 to it 24 plus 9 is 33 and the 0 is there so we have the total 330 now what we have to do we subtract 415 with 330 so we can get the mark of english in class 11th which will be 85 70 to reach 400 and then 15 70 plus 15 is for uh, 85 so 415 minus 330 give us 85 which is the marks of which is the marks of class 9 english so the marks of class 9 english is 85 not next so similarly we goes on in class 12 we see here we don't have we ha again have two missing data so we can't find the data easily now the total the confusion sometimes occurs this is a total of maths this is a total of physics this is a chemistry total english total computer total and this is the whole total but if you see the total of this is also equal to 4 uh, 7 1719 1719 if you are confused how this can happen because since we are adding this row wise as well as column wise it is a total of all this data and on adding this we can get the whole data of sum of this so 71719 will be the sum of all these data up uh, now how we can add them quickly first approach we will see the Hundred value. All are one, two, three, four, three hundred values we have. So we have clearly twelve hundred from there. For sixty plus forty-two is hundred. That makes it thirteen hundred. Twelve hundred plus hundred from here thirteen hundred. Now what we have thirty-nine and forty-seven. Thirty-nine plus forty-seven is eighty-six. How we do it? We take one from here forty-seven. And I give it to thirty nine. It become forty, forty and forty six. We have eighty six, eighty six, three and two, five from here, ninety one. So thirteen hundred and ninety one. So the total is thirteen hundred and ninety one. One seven one nine minus 
1391. The difference of these two numbers give us the marks of chemistry. Total sum of chemistry in all the four years. So, 1719 minus 1391. How we can subtract it to fast? The different it is closest thousand value is 1400 or oh, 100 value is uh, 1400. So what we need here 9. If we uh, the difference from 1400 to 1719 is 319 and 9 which is we have short from 1400. So the difference becomes 328. 319 plus 9 give us 328. So the total of marks the total marks of chemistry it becomes 3 to 8 what we have done we add all the four values and subtract it from 700 uh, 1719 to get the marks 328 next now we don't uh, get any information from column wise now we will go row wise as we go from row wise we cannot get marks total any here because two data is missing. Now we come to physics. We can get easily get the physics marks because here is only one data missing and one data we can easily calculate. Now what we have 96, 88 and 66 and the total is 350, uh, 342. We will add them easily. See, the easy way to add same 90, 80 and 60. 6, six and 8, 14, 14 and 9, 23 next 6 8 6 uh, it becomes 20 so what we have 23 and 20 250 so what we do 342 minus 250 give us 92 so we have the total uh, uh, class 10 physics mass which is 92 what we have done we add them very easily and subtract from 342 next again we can easily find data here now because since the first we have two data missing here in this row but now since we have already calculated the total of chemistry we can easily calculate the marks of chemistry in class 9 so what we have to do we sum up the values 90 plus 90 180 180 plus 70 250 2 and 1 3 so the total is 253 328 minus 253 253 so the how to find the difference easily the difference from 300 is 47 and 28 from here 28 plus 47 gives us 75 so the marks of chemistry in class 9 will be 75. Next, English. Now see again in English we have only one data missing. We can easily find that 80, 80, 80, 240, 5, 4, 9, 2, 11. 240 and 11 is 251. What we have to do? We have to subtract 339 minus 251. 49 plus 39 give us 88. So the total, uh, uh, so the marks of English will be 88 in class 10. Now we have seen two data missing, two data missing. The problem is we have three. Uh, column and rows where the data two datas are missing so we cannot find them by adding or subtracting anything now we have to go back to the questions where we have given some information what information we have 12.5 percent more in maths in class 12 from previous year class the marks he got in maths in class 12 is 12.5 percent more from previous class so he got 12.5 percent more than 80 so 80 12.5 percent which will be 10 or what you can do 80 into 112.5 percent 
which will be 90. Either way, you can add 80 plus 10 equal to 90 or directly 90. Yeah, you have to add one place. So either you have to add 100 in the percent or you can add 80 afterwards. The answer will be 90 only. So we have here class 9, 9 uh, 12 marks 90. So he gets uh, in maths in class 12, 90. Now if he has 90 marks in class 12, we can easily find the marks of class 10. What we have to do? We have to again have to sum up 90 plus 80, 170, 170 and 90, 260 and 8, 268. What we have to do? 363 minus 260. 268 and we will get 95 from here so the maths marks in class 10 will be 95 next if we have here easily can we can find the total of class 10 since we have all the data from class 12 so, uh, 10, 95 plus 92 plus 90, 88 and 85. So, here you can, what you can do? 9 plus 9, 18, 18 plus 9, 27, 27 and 8, 35, 35 and 8, 43. 430 we get from here, 5 plus 5, 10, 440. 2 plus 8, 10, 440 and 10, 450. So, the total we get from here, will be 450 okay now we have 450 here we can easily find this total since this is a sum of all these marks so what we have to do we have to add them and subtract it from 1719 again 444 1200 15 plus 27 15 plus 27 gave us 43 42 42 and 50 uh, 92 so the what we have to do 1719 minus 450 which will give us 427 so the total sum will be 427 of class 9 since we have only one data missing which is the computer marks here uh, in class 9 we can easily find that by adding 98 plus 96 plus 75 plus 82 so 9 9 18 18 and 7 will be 25 25 and 8 will be 33 so 330 we have now we add what we will add the uh, unit digit 8 plus 2 10 6 plus 5 11 10 and 11 will be 21 and what we have 33 33 and 21 will be give us the 351 so what we will do, we will minus 427 from 351 and we will get 76, we will get 76 marks. So now we have all the marks except one which is com marks of computer in class 12. Uh, what is the we have what we have to do we have to find the marks of class 12 uh, of computers now again we are what we have we have only one data missing so what we can do we can add these thing and subtract for 427 let's see here 90 uh, 9 plus 9 18 18 plus 8 26 26 plus 6 32 320 we have the total then the unit digit 6 plus 4 10 10, 330 and 331. 427 minus 331 and we will get the difference 96. So we have completed the missing information here. So what we have to do, we have to first find all the missing data. Once we have get all the missing data from here, we can easily do the calculation in further questions then the questions will be very easy the basic uh, thing is to complete this chart first 
Here, remember one data is given. Maximum marks of each subject is 100, which we have not used yet. But it can be used in questions. They have given you data. You have to keep it in mind, this part. Okay. Let's move to the question. First question says, what percent of marks is obtained by Rahul in class 10th? Now, what we need are our table with the complete information. We have that. And what percent of marks Rahul is obtained by Rahul in class 10th? Rahul is obtaining 450. So, of marks obtained divided by total marks. Now, we don't have the total marks. But we can easily find out since we know the maximum marks of each subject is 100. So, 5 subjects are there and we have maximum marks 100 for each subject. That is 5 into 100. To get percent, we multiply 100 to it and we get our answer 90%. Percent. 100, 100 cancel out. 5, 90 times. The answer will be 90%. Percent. Easily calculated. Let's see, move to the next question. The next question says, find the difference between the total marks of class 9th and the total marks of class 10th of Rahul. So, what we have to do, we have to find the difference between class 9th marks and class 10th marks of Rahul. So, we need the table, get the table here. And the table says, class 9th marks is 427 and class 10th marks is 450. So, the difference between these two marks is 13. Our answer will be 13. 450 minus 427. The answer will be 13. Move to the next question. Next question say, what is the ratio of marks of maths in class 10th and marks of English of class 11th of Rahul? So, they are asking us about the ratio of two subjects. The table is uh, it says the marks of class 10, class 10 marks of mass, class 10 marks of mass is 95 ratio, class 11 marks of English which is 85, now it is simple you can divide the both the numbers by 5 and get the ratio 19 ratio 70. Next question. Marks of math in class 12th of Rahul is what percent more or less than the marks of chemistry in class 11th of 9th of Rahul? So, first we have to see the marks of math in class 12th. The marks of math in class 12th is 90. Now, which, from which sub marks we have to compare? We have to compare it from chemistry. Chemistry of class 9th, which is 75. So, First, we what we have to do? We have to find the difference between them. The difference is 15. We know it is 15 more than chemistry marks, which is 75 into 100. 5 times, 20 times. The answer is 20 percent. So, Rahul get 20% more marks in maths in class 12 than by uh, than chemistry uh, marks of chemistry in class 9th. That's all for today. Hope you enjoyed the video and learned a lot. Uh, don't forget to subscribe our YouTube